Hello everyone, welcome to this video. Today we are going to talk about the SHA-256 algorithm. Uh, this al algorithm is widely used in real life since it was published in 2001. And it recently has been hot, become a hot topic um, because it's used in Bitcoin. And this algorithm is used in both the mining process and the generation of Bitcoin addresses. Mm, uh, this SHA-256 algorithm is a, actually a hash function which takes an arbitrary length message and output a fixed length which is 256 bits uh, output uh, hash value and um, uh, let's see how this algorithm works um, first we're gonna do some pre-processing we're gonna patch the original message suppose the message has b bits denoted as m0 m1 until m b minus 1 first we're gonna pad um, a bit one after it and many zeros after that so that the length of the message becomes b prime and b prime is congruent to 448 modulo 512 and after that we're gonna append another 64 bits which is b0 b1 until b63 um, now it has uh, the length of this message becomes the multiple of 512 and this 64 bits is actually the representation of the number b and b is the length of the original message now we have the message here and we're gonna divide it into uh, 32 bit words denoted as m0 m1 until n m n minus 1 the capital n here is multiple of 16 so we're going to process the message each time for 16 words and um, to do that we're going to need 8 buffers a b c d e f g h and these buffers are actually the uh, 32 bit registers and um, first we're going to initialize them by these 8 numbers here these are the uh, the uh, hexadecimal numbers and we will also save these numbers uh, as a0, b0 until h0 and uh, now we're gonna use these buffers to process the message uh, for each 16 words we're gonna process 64 runs and for each round the um, operations will be like that in this picture um, here we have the 8 buffers so we already initialize it and now we're gonna uh, start the um, processing so first the values in a b c d e f g will go will shift to the next register which is b c d e f g h so the value in a goes to b b goes to c like that but here um, the value in d uh, does not directly goes to e it will um, add uh, with the result of the computation um, of these two functions and uh, these two values will add together and then goes to E and for the register E uh, it also uh, will come from the result of this whole process so we have four functions here and we have different inputs from the uh, almost all the other registers and we have some extra parameters we're going to talk about them later um, so we um, the we have the new registers um, to, uh, to start the next round and the operations will be the same but of course the values will be different in these registers for each round and now let's see uh, these four functions so for the first one ch function it takes three inputs e f g and the operation will be e and f x o with uh, not e and g and um, the, the other function m a um, has these operations and um, the function well we call it uh, sum zero here is 
um, the result of um, three values XOR together. It only takes inputs from A, so the first value is A, uh, right rotate, uh, rotate 2 bits, and the uh, second is A, right rotate 13 bits, and A, right rotate um, 22 bits, and these three values XOR together to get the result for this function. And um, uh, similarly, we have some E here. And these are the functions. For each round, the function will be the same, and the inputs will, uh, the variables will be the same, but of course the values will be different. Um, and let's see, uh, for uh, this result, we also take some uh, inputs from WT and KT. Well, for WT here, for the um, uh, first 16 runs, the WT is actually the ori original, original message words, the 16 me uh, message words. Uh, we put it in WT for each round. And after this uh, first 16 round, the value in WT will be different. It's um, uh, the result of um, WT minus 16 plus WT minus 7 plus S0 plus S1. And S0 here is the result of this operation. So we take the value in WT minus 15 and right rotate 7 bits and uh, right also the value right rotates 18 bits and X all together and we also XO the value in WT minus 15, right shift 3 bit. And similarly, we have the S1, which takes inputs from mm, the variant of WT minus 2. And so this uh, is the value for WT for each 16 for 64 rounds. And for the parameter KT here, these are the values we um, put in KT for all the 64 rounds and we put each one in each round so these are the um, uh, operations and um, after 64 rounds we're gonna compute the result as A equals to A plus A0 like that we actually this is um, uh, like we add the initial value of the registers um, to the final results and then we it's, it's more like we initialize the buffers by the results like this and um, let's go back so we're gonna uh, process the next 16, 16 words um, similarly like the first 16 words and um, after we process all the message words, we're going to output the values in these eight buffers as the final result. So each has 32 bits, so um, we have 256 bit as the hash value of the original message. And um, uh, to be aware that um, uh, the MT here actually um, the subscript T here might not be 100% uh, correct because for the next 16 words it will start with uh, 16 so it's not 0 to 15 mm, to be aware that we just put it like empty it's sim sim to uh, it's simple to understand but if you're gonna implement this algorithm just um, be care, uh, be careful about this subscript. And um, let's see what else do we need to take care. I think that's it. Um, uh, leave leave a comment if you have any question, and see you in the next one.